Hi guys, welcome back to our Why Before You Live this Sunday. Yay! Woo! So good. good. Yeah. Um, we're gonna interview someone from New Zealand, and yeah, today um, we are your hosts, Angel, and with me is. Vera, let's go. Let's go. Hi guys. <laughs> so yeah, so um, we are so excited to interview this person, and I know na uh, excited na rin kayo mga kabataan to know ano nga ba yung mga yari this day. So yeah, I'll I'll give it to Sister Vera to introduce our our guest for today. Hey. So he's from um, New Zealand, Auckland, New Zealand. Um, he's one of the young pros here in New Woo-hoo! Zealand, and he's a uh, queer as well to us, and uh, you know, influencer to others. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he is as well a nurse um, that's work- uh, currently working as a registered nurse here in New Zealand. So yeah, we want to welcome Kuya Jeff. Yay! <laughs> so do you want to quickly? Yeah. Do you want to quickly introduce yourself, Kuya? Kumusta na, lahat? Hi, my name is Kuya Jeff. So everyone calls me Franz, and um, yeah, I've been I've been I've been in church for like I think more than ten years now, and it's it's been good, you know, like um, mm-hmm. staying close to whatever keeps me encouraged. Um, yeah. Like the people that is surrounding me, they've been helpful, family and. Yeah. Um, and it's been an amazing journey. Like there's been days where it's you know there's been days now you just can't be bothered going through it. But God is faithful. God is good. Mm-hmm. Amen. Um, yes. I'm, Amen. I'm actually grateful so for this opportunity na makapag encourage in your lahat. I mean, pasensya na I'm actually Bisaya. So everyone out there who's Bisaya, I can speak Bisaya, but I can I can speak Tagalog. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I really hope that um every word that comes in my mouth can speak life and encourage one you know because at the end of the day we're, we're all here to inspire each other like sometimes yeah. we think you know, like what are we doing you know like all this zoom and that like we could have just you could, you could just be doing something else and and you know like you could be doing something that more you're more um you could be thing you think is relevant for you but at the end of the day um you know like we're here for each other and yeah, the word of God, and we glorify the name of Jesus. Nothing else can glorify. It. And I praise God for the life that He has given me, that mm. um, I can inspire. You know, like the life story that I've gone through in my life. Truly, the you know, tr- truly, it's amazing because I, I just a short testimony. There's things that I in my life that I've gone through, and I thought that like things would mm. not get better and that. But here I am. I'm a product of grace. Amen. Here I am. And I can, I can fully share to you guys that our God is amazing, and yes, He can turn amen. darkness to light. He can, He can change people. You know, even yes. even <clears throat> even when you're in that position, you felt like things aren't going well in your life, and that. Mm-hmm. But He has never left you, and He will He will always fulfill the end. You will hear that every day yeah. in church, especially we're all from church and that. But yeah. I'm just saying, I'm a product of grace, and um, I'm just excited every day. You know, I'm excited that he's he's still he's still working in the midst of us, and he's he's the same God is working in me. Let's go. Amen. 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 Praise okay. God. So, um, Kuya Jeff, we know na um you are working in a hospital, especially this time na may pandemic. You are there as a frontliner, even in airport. We saw the nagsiswab kayo don, and even in hotels or yes. in right. yeah. Mm. So um, uh, I I have this question. We have so, we oh, have this, so many questions to ask. I love and, it. I love um, it. So, Exciting. So, interesting. So, Come on, yeah. guys, grab your chips, grab grab a seat. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting night. Ooh, pretty good. <laughs> so yeah. So how are you finding it? Like especially you're one of the nurses swabbing people. How how, how do you find it? Um. Well, it. I'm quite overwhelmed. You know, like putting yourself out there. Sometimes I think like it, it is it is scary like you you know mm-hmm. not just because I'm putting myself out there as risk but also I'm putting my family at risk so yeah. it's not just myself but I'm also worried about like my mom you know like I, I, yeah. I mean, 
this and that. So I'm not just the one who's close contact with them, pero meron din ako family. But um, it, you know, sometimes I'm learning too that like sometimes we really don't know what comes in, right? Like sometimes the things that we like, who would have thought early this year things are doing well? We we celebrated, yeah. Year, mm-hmm. You know, like um, we had our we set our goals. Some people went, you know, they decided we we're gonna have a vacation in mid of the mid of the year. You know, yeah. we're gonna plan this. We had a lot of plans, it so but it just a mm-hmm. met just a single single we don't even we don't we don't even see this virus but it's, uh-huh. it's affecting so much our lives right now <clears throat> and it's it seems like it's it's putting a lot of of stress and a lot of changes happening in our life right now and and some like and and being in a position where like me as a nurse this is what i sign in for you know uh-huh. and I, just i say like hey hey i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna do it you know like i'm, I'm gonna try to protect myself and that but like um it's this is what I signed in for, and and it's all by the grace of God that I can safely do the work. Yeah. And sometimes I'm learning in life that, you know, like we love to have more details. You know, so like right now, I I didn't get enough details to come and have a chat with you. I was informed a couple of days of short notice, yeah. which is bad. Now I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. it's like, hey, Kuya Jeff, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have like a Zoom chat with you. Yeah. And uh, you're just gonna have, there's, there's gonna be some few questions. But first thing came up in my mind is like, what's the questions? Because I don't even know what to say. You know, I've yeah. never had. And, and sometimes, you know, like when, when, when we go through life, we like to know the details first. We like to know what's out there because knowing what's exactly there gives us a sense of resp- of control you know like yeah. we, know, we like to we like to take control of the outcome but i'm yeah. learning that that's complete opposite of the gospel mm-hmm. but the gospel is basically talking about you know the bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 8 right that um it is not that it is through faith that mm-hmm. we are accepted. and it is not by our works but yeah. it is it's by the grace of god you know it, it is not through our own works so that's what i'm learning like i don't know what's out there but i'm still yeah. gonna show up i don't have yeah. i'm not capable of doing it mm-hmm. and like i cannot rely on my own strength like i could if, if like i remember when we were informed like hey france we're gonna put you at we're gonna i know we're gonna put you out there and 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 we're gonna you're gonna be swabbing people and, and then i'm like and we were actually given information like, oh, who's going to do it and that. But most of the people that I'm working with, they're all female. They have their moms and most of them, they mm-hmm. have family. So mm-hmm. everyone's like, nah, nah, we're not doing it. But it's only you because they all don't know that I'm the only one who's not married. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <thank you>. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, I don't, I don't know what's out there, but I'm just going to do it, you know? Yeah. And mm-hmm. I, I, I kind of learned this one even from the life of the disciples when... I kind of shared this one when I was worship leading, and it still struck me every time that I go through it. And it was an acts, acts when, when we know that, when when Jesus, when Jesus obviously when Jesus died on the cross, and he came back, and it's like, oh, I'm I'm alive, and he he spoke about the kingdom of God to the, to his disciples, and that, mm. and and the disciples was asking like, God, when are you going to restore the kingdom, here on earth, you know. Mm-hmm. God was talking about the kingdom of God, and the, and and Jesus replied, "It is not for you you to know the time and date that the Father has set." And mm-hmm. that stuff is an indication that we don't need to know every detail in order to give our best. Now, sometimes yeah. we like to take everything like, uh, "I want I want the ten years la- plan of my life. I mm-hmm. want to know I want to know if if this meal plan is going to work out for me to lose mm-hmm. weight." Uh, you yeah. know, like I, I work out. Obviously, we know that I work out every day. Come on, and I come across a lot of people. <laughs> they, they come up and they say, "How do you get abs? How do you, I'm not putting myself up there, but this is an example." Kuya, yeah. like, they do for workout this and that. They want the yeah. value. They want like they want exactly like in front of them. Like they want guarantee and that. But yeah. like, but I'm learning that life doesn't work that way. Like mm-hmm. God wants us to go through it in order to see. Him moving, you mm-hmm. know, and it's yeah. it's 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 a matter of it's a matter of showing up and just doing it, and yeah. you don't need to it's know action. it. Just show up, and it's God's mm-hmm. will. 
it's God's work is gonna work in your life. But that's that's what He wants. He wants us to do it. I mean, he wants us yeah. to move in accordance mm. to Him. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and 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 going back to the question, it's like I don't know, I don't know how I feel towards it, but mm-hmm. it's by God's grace that I can still come in, I can still show up, and yeah. my mm-hmm. Lord to God, I just want to say I had three negative swabs throughout yeah. the whole. Yeah, wow. Oh, Praise God. That is Thank good. That is good. Because if you look yeah. at the Moya right now, you would have heard in 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 Melbourne. Shall we? Like yeah. there's about thousands Second of people out there. Yeah, yeah. Really positive with the this. Second wave. It's, like, it's mm. crazy out there. I, I can imagine secretly <laughs> my own. I don't know how you guys cope it, but God is God is um protecting us for the right purpose. Amen. Amen. Here. Yeah. So, yeah. kuya, follow up questions. Have you ever mm. or did you ever regret na naging nurse ka and then? This pandemic came up and yeah. like that. Any doubt? Yeah. I um. First like, of all, I've never. Like, dapat engineer na lang ako ganyan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there. But the thing is, when you're confident with what you're called to do, like you would never have any doubt. I and mean, I'm not saying like wow. I think yeah. every day. Wow. I'm not saying that every, things true. are going well. <laughs> It, it doesn't mean like you know you're always positive and you're always there are days where you're just like mm. you just, I can't say no to people because that's what we do but yeah, there are yeah. days where I'm fully just drained and I'm just like mm. I just don't want to see any people in front of me mm. but then again I started realizing that um, the moment that you try to do something that is outside your purpose and what God has called you to do you're always going to be frust- frustrated and you're always mm-hmm. going to be You'll, you'll never produce f- right fruits. You know, have you ever thought about that? Like, uh, you know, like when we come across certain um, um, life experience in our life, when we come across a certain certain phase in our life where like, like you know, like it could be, a, could be um, pressure in school or it could be mm-hmm. pressure to perform or like with your friends and that. But, and, and to the point where you tend to downplay yourself and like, oh, hang on, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let go with who I am as my identity and I'm just gonna like sort of compromise just for the sake of of just for the sake of this certain time but then you start getting frustrated because it's never been part of you mm-hmm. you know and I'm learning that like there's always joy God is good because God has always put me the, in that joy and mm-hmm. and it's it's always been clear in my vision that this is what I'm called to do because not because that I'm good at doing it, not because because you could have like the best degree, you could have like the masters in nursing, you could have be the charge nurse, but zero influence. You yeah. know, it's never been about your status. It's never been about the amount of because especially in the nursing field, it's all about hierarchy. People yeah. like and people love to to gain so much knowledge. People love to be like, oh like especially you know, like when you come across a nurse, oh how long have you been a nurse? Five years. Yeah. Oh, have you worked in this <laughs> and that? You know, yeah. and like, what's next? Like, it's not, it's, it's not like you, you know. And I'm not saying that I'm all that or something, but it's like we're called to serve. At the end of the day, it's never been about the status, but it's about service. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I'm, that's and that's so what I'm learning. Like, like it seems to be like there's a struggle with my career and that, but at the end of the day, it's an opportunity for me to serve people. And mm-hmm. that's what it's all about. Like, if you look at the life of Jesus, it's all about service. It's all about mm-hmm. being. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I love about nursing because I don't need to find people where I need to encourage. Yeah. And you might be thinking like that's so cliche here, like really, you really, really encourage people in that. But I'm grateful that I've gone through certain things in my life mm-hmm. that I thought was a trouble, but now I can say here I am, like I can safely share this to you guys because what I've gone through, what the enemy meant for evil. That was actually a good thing. And here yeah. I am. It's been a fuel for my faith to keep going. The things mm-hmm. that I thought was a trouble in my life, yeah. here I am. I can keep going. I can inspire people freely, not just for the sake of saying good things about it, but because I've experienced the goodness of God. Yes, mm-hmm. amen. And, and, amen. And nursing itself is a place where, where people are there. There's a lot of, like what you said, anxiety. A yeah, lot of anxiety. Yeah. 
people are in doubt, people are in need, but God mm-hmm. has put them in a position for service. Just yeah, like the life of Joseph, exactly. he thought was a big trouble, but there was a blessing in disguise. He was, you know, he thought he was going to be sold for with his brothers, and he thought was, oh man, this is it. I'm bye. <laughs> like this is the end of my career, but mm-hmm. it was also an invitation for something greater. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. Cool. Amen. Okay, let's end it here. <laughs> Grabe. <laughs> Grabe. First question and then we're so full. Cool. <laughs> Grabe. We're, we're, we're very blessed to have you to, to, um, to yeah. uh, hear those encouragements from yeah. you. Yeah. That truly, so no, true. na yeah. we have to do something na out of our purpose. Na yun dapat yung calling natin. Hindi yung ang hirap kasi na um, we are, we are, yung, for example, um, sa, sa, sa isang um, bagay, kapag yung upuan, ginamit mo na higaan, hindi pwede. Kailangan yung purpose niya, yun talaga yung pupuntahan niya, yun talaga yung paggagamitan sa kanya, di ba? So, yeah, it's an encouragement to all of us to, yeah, to serve, serve, yes, serve, serve, and wag mag-alala sa mga position dahil yeah. we know that the Lord we serve is alive and yeah. yung reward natin is from Him. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yes. like what we've learned today as well like from Bible study like faith without mm-hmm. actions is like dead. <laughs> no, but it's so funny because it, like what we've learned in Bible study is so like in line to what you've just um, just shared to us because like today we've learned about faith and you know yeah. what it means to have faith especially what's happening right now in this you know this time because the pandemic and everything mm-hmm. so yeah it's very timely as well so yeah so good yeah <laughs> let's move on to the next question yeah no yeah okay you know as you know Kuya you're, you're a nurse diba? Um, mm-hmm. as a Christian and a nurse how do you um, like apply that in your working workforce, like in your profession as like a Christian? How do you? Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. does make sense. I think, especially with an with with in the health environment, um, you gotta be. You can't really. Yeah, yeah. Can't, I mean, yeah. There's a lot of. I mean, I'm actually grateful with the environment, the, the nature of my work because I'm. Well, we all know I actually work in a primary health setting so basically Ooh. the people that I deal with they're not like dying they're not yeah. like okay. so it's like it's like you're seeing a GP it's basically a GP okay. where people okay. coming in and they're still healthy they're taking repeats of their prescriptions but also they also um, a place na parang walk in so mm-hmm. people can come in and then some of them could come in with like an injury and that so they not that intense the about this is there's no pressure so I can mm. spend with my patients and I can I can talk to them and that's what I love about this job because like it's not like when you're you're, you're talking to someone who's like at the end of themselves and, mm-hmm. and it, that's that's a struggle you know and I'm grateful that God has positioned me in a place where where the people that I'm dealing with are they're responding and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm also mindful about like the whole the whole policies and things like that but yeah but I think the, the biggest thing out there is you re- I'm learning from this too that you really need to listen about the Holy Spirit and it sounds really cliche like oh here you go France you know that? but like honestly we need to fully be guided that yeah like, gotta be wise as well not really, it is not like if I could just be passive about my job I could just do whatever I want and just like let go about this whole Christianity thing. I'll just focus on myself. You know, yeah. like, mm. like there's things, there's a lot of things we go through. Why would I bother about other people? I've gone yeah. through a lot of struggles in my life. But then again, faith doesn't work like that. We have to stay active. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's a completely different passive than being active because God can work more in your life if you're constantly allowing His presence to be wherever you go. It's not just mm-hmm. in church. But in every situation, it's not just about being a nurse. You could you could bring the presence of God wherever you go, because that's mm. that's what omnipresent. You know, sometimes mm. we say, God, I need you this and that, but it it's not. The problem is like you you're actually not there. He's always been there for you. It's just yeah. that you're not present in the moment. Yeah, that's you know? true. And that's what I'm mm. learning that that in order to fully 
do greater things. We were, at the end of the day, we're actually called to do greater things. Not because we're great, but because God in us, Jesus in us, is great. And He can do great things mm-hmm. in our life. And that's what the, the Bible says when, when we receive the Holy Spirit. We can mm-hmm. do all great and mighty things. That was a that was a promise. That was a promise. And and how, the question going back to the question of how how am I being more? I would say um, um, how am I being more? Um, what's the right word to say this? Um, active with my work and being yeah. in Christianity. Mm-hmm. And, being productive, I would say, being more productive with my work, and that it's. I think for me is is seize every opportunity and listen yeah. to the listen to the Holy Spirit. Like I've mm-hmm. actually come across many times, and uh, glory to God in the highest. Not about me. I've, I've come across a lot in in, in a work environment environment where the like the. The presence of God and His voice is just so clear. Like, minister to this man, minister. Mm-hmm. To this man. Wow. And wow. and and you know, sometimes it's just all we need is just that small details of obedience. Sometimes yeah. we feel you know, like us us believers, we like to, you know, like especially when we, we when we experience God and that we think God can do great mighty things straight away. Like, whoa, mm-hmm. the Red Sea has been departed. You know, yeah. we, we, we like <laughs> miracles. We're like, open by this, open yeah, by yeah. this, open yeah. Like, yo, that's great things. But I'm also learning that God is very more specific with the small details. Yeah, because that's so true. It, and, and that small details could actually lead to something greater. But it's just a matter of actually saying yes to it. If you look at the life of David, like mm-hmm. he's one of the biggest, um, um, Thing that he needs to overcome prior to Goliath was what was one thing? I mean, he didn't have Goliath straight away. I mean, he was a shepherd. He was just looking yeah. after like, like mga carnero and like he killed the bear, the bear and the sheep and that right. He was yeah. just that, he was just doing like the ordinary things, and all his brothers was just out there. You know, even even the, his brothers were in on the front line, and yeah. Goliath was bullying them for forty days, mm-hmm. and they're still allowing those things to happen. You know, and sometimes mm-hmm. we. You know, we put we've been put in the position where it's becoming like a norm for us to hear certain bad things. But you know, like we allow forty days for that to happen. Can you imagine mm-hmm. that? That like, oh, you can't do that. Oh, like bring out the best people. You know. But then, if you look at Goliath, I mean, if you look at David, David, he only had one task in order for him to experience Goliath, and it was his dad asking mm-hmm. him. You just bring his bread to your brother, yeah. and if he had said yeah. no to that, and if he said nah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I can. Yeah, like, you do you. Yeah. you do yeah. you. I'll just do whatever I want. You, you do you. To, you do you. Liar, <laughs> right? And it's that small detail. It's yeah. that small detail can enter into something bigger. Mm. And I don't know what position tayo mga youth ngayon. You could just be like going through the ordinary task of your life where you just you're still showing kindness to someone you still mm. you you know like you're still going to church but you're still not experiencing something and that but Mm-mm. with that act of obedience that you're putting on and you have that expected heart all the time god can do greater things just yeah. like with David, he had that obedience even in the small things because mm-hmm. entry for something greater and i learned that one many times because like I've been into position many times. Glory to God, that I never knew that with just that act of simple encouragement to someone, like, and that that's what everything that person needed. Like, I just want to share this. I don't want to glorify myself, but mind mm-hmm. you, I, I've been in a position last year where I've met a homeless man. Like, uh, yeah. like this, yeah. this would, the youth probably would have heard about this thing, and I just yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the goodness of God. I just want to glorify God to this because I remember it was. I just want to share this with you at the time. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we, yeah, were, yeah. We, were, we were out there with the youth. It was Sunday after yeah. church, and we were just like, yeah. "Yo, we're gonna have dinner. We're gonna have. I mean, we we had a burger. We had yeah. burger and things like that. Yeah. And then everything was so planned, and mm-hmm. something came up unexpectedly throughout the whole trip. And it was so funny because, like, you know, like when you're with the youth, you mm. always get the wrong exit. 
and you always <laughs> delay things and that but i'm learning that sometimes your biggest wrong the re, the biggest the the wrong direction could always lead to something more greater wow you know? and that, that was so yeah. that was the god's timing was so amazing like we thought mm-hmm. was we were so late for thing we had like lunch like three in the afternoon because i remember yeah. that like, koya can we just go there koya can we just you know and we were just like okay i was driving and the whole, <laughs> yeah, the whole yeah. time we were just like going all over the place all over the street always, like, youth, like it's always hype yeah. and then, like we were at the we were at the burger place and then we were just about to finish and then i came across this uh, this man he was coming mm-hmm. out in the, in the bus and i just felt like i mean if i didn't and I, I don't know it was just that small voice that actually mm. heard you need to go back I mean mm-hmm. if I didn't really I mean if I wasn't really active about you know the presence of God and that I wouldn't care I'll just do my yeah. own thing yeah, but yeah, that yeah, voice was so clear and I met this man I came across him first thing I gave was actually come on let's get something to eat because you look like yeah. you're hungry mm-hmm. and then we had a chat and that and I felt like having a burger is not enough Why not we just yeah. give him money? So me and I'm just like, gee, we'll just get some money for this man and that. And then I felt like money, it's still not, tra- it won't be able to transform someone else's life. So mm-hmm. what about, let's bring this man to church. And it was an after mm-hmm. Sunday. Afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like sometimes, like the, that's what the Bible says, silver and gold I do not have. Mm-hmm. You no, know, silver and gold I do not have. But sometimes everything that you need It, it, you know, like some, if if you look at the life of that that bleeding woman, he's been through so many doctors, but it's gone mm-hmm. worse and worse. If I mm-hmm. I don't know, like if I could, I could have given that money, but it still mm-hmm. won't change life. I could have given them yeah. food, but it only sustained me for that one day, and yeah. it was still yeah. worse and worse. But sometimes we come, we we go through certain things where we try to seek for the wrong opinion or we tried to seek for certain things just to satisfy us but it just makes us more worse you know but it's only God who can change and I I, it was amazing like to cut the story short spoiler yeah. alert <laughs> <laughs> this man came in and he went to church we prayed over him and little that I know the whole time he only had a week he was actually about to jump on the bridge he was about yeah. to kill And I didn't know the only at the week and his immigration whole thing was going to be expired. Mm-mm. And that and then the good glory to God now if you look at him he's serving in church. He's bringing yeah. okay. people in church. Yeah. He's, he's, actually, he's, okay. he's, he's actually a carpenter. So he's bringing yeah. like other carpenters coming to church wow. and always inspiring people and what that's amazing because what the yeah. That's so good. Mm. yeah and it's all about the small details of just like mm-hmm. god i'm just gonna do it i'm still gonna say yes to this man we, i don't know what how is this gonna lead but when we have that when we become obedient to god it opens to something more it opens to miracle god's working mm. work in our life and that's what yeah. i learned like like us christians and like, like us young pro and that you might be in a position right now where you felt like you're just going on the ordinary ordinary face you go you know mm-hmm. like you, you go to church you go to school and that but mm-hmm. that's more details of your life god is more specific god is looking at those small things because that bible says we don't know this if you're faithful with the small things mm-hmm. god, god can, bless you god, that's right god god can give you the big things yeah amen so mm-hmm. yeah i actually witnessed that the time na na in a, na kinuhan or like dinala nila Kuya Jeff si Kuya Mark hi Kuya Mark you know what say this hi Kuya, Kuya Mark And actually um if if normal lang na kabataan na hindi mo talaga papakinggan yung voice ni Lord na kapag yeah. nakita mo si Kuya Mark that moment really parang ma-disgust ka sa kanya kasi yung itsura niya kasi mahaba yung hair niya habang hair habang yeah. hair scruffy photo. looking yeah just to like proof about you're scruffy yeah, I remember that photo the before and yeah. after kuya this is him yeah, yeah yeah that's kuya Mark siya po si kuya mm. Mark so that was the time when we we got him burger mm-hmm. and this was his first meal I just want to show you guys the transformation 
Yeah. His first meal. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah, That's the God we serve, man. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. His life. Wow. Yeah. Yes. This is them. You can do great things. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that that night na nung time na na dinala nila si Kuya Mark sa church. Actually, yung yung message sa church is in line dun sa like, nangyayari. Yeah. Like so everything we were, worked like, out. We were, we, were, we were actually shocked that time na wow. Wow, God is really working. He's working. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And That's yeah, we amazing. praise God because yeah, it's a reminder for every one of us to really seek the Lord, to right. seek His yeah. presence, to really um, heed the voice of the Lord in our life. Because once na ni reject natin yon, parang binetray natin sa Lord na Lord. Oh, yeah. Diba, dagawin ko yung gusto ko. I want to, yeah. I want to eat more pizza. I want to eat <laughs> more burgers. I want to yeah. go to. To, um, there, beach, whatever. Then, yeah, <laughs> diba, you're, you're, you're not actually planning to go to church, diba, that mm-hmm. night? Because right. yeah. we had the and we were just like, let's just yeah. do some fun. Yeah. Just... yeah. <laughs> but really, you know. <laughs> but God is works. good, talaga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is... So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to submit to Queen Jeff. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next question. Grabe. Second question, and we're so full. Grabe talaga. Not and the highest. Yeah. Grabe. So, yeah. So, um, nasabi mo kanina, Queen Jeff, that it's kind of scary to sa sayo na maging mm-hmm. frontliner kasi yun nga maapektuhan mo yung yung family, family mo if ever na meron kang ano but praise god um negative yeah. Okay. <laughs> and yeah do, do you experience yung yung mga napapanood sa TV na kapag ano pa, yung frontliner dadating sa bahay magsha-shower yung frontliner sa labas ng bahay kasi <laughs> ano <laughs> and scrub them <laughs> Yeah, and then it's from them. Bago pumasok yeah. sa bahay, hindi na ba? <laughs> <laughs> and I even saw like a dad was like trying to cuddle his son when he arrived. Yeah. And he started yeah. Like, yeah. Do it. Like, yeah. The, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yun nga. So, um, so how do you actually balance it? Like, syempre, pumupunta ka rin ng church, pumupunta ka rin yeah. ng practice, we saw you worship leading, and then, um, pumupunta ka pa ng gym, you meet other people, people. and then, may mga, may mga task ka pa, like, kasi nasa news ka din, di ba? But, Lord to God. Yeah. Wow. And, Same nakikita din namin na, yun nga, <laughs> so busy sa front, sa 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 hospitals. So how do you I know how do you balance that? I think that's actually such an interesting question. Like yeah. I guess for me is it really comes back comes to what you really try to achieve in your life. Cuz uh-huh. um like in like I'm, I learned that like You're only gaining something. You're only doing something more effective in your life if it all comes back to your willingness to do something. You know, I mean, uh-huh. like we're, we're we're all given the same time. We're all given the same choice. We're all given the same 24 hours every day. But it's uh-huh. your choices that determines where you move forward. Whatever you fo and what you focus on, is, you know, like and I'm learning that. Like if I could be focusing on the same routine every day, yeah, and not being active with my faith and not being, you know, not 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 expecting something every day and not doing the work, then you'll always expect the same things. Whatever mm-hmm. you're on right now determines if you're gonna move forward or if you're gonna be doing the same dead routines every day. And I learned yeah. that for me, like for me, like I don't. I mean, success for me is something that, like, you're constantly changing. Like, we're called to do, we're called to, to, to change from glory to glory, from strength to strength. That's what the Bible says. Mm-hmm. And 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 I want to be able to live life in a way that, like, I don't want to be doing the ordinary things. And it may sound like, you know, like, oh, what are you? Doing? You're just, you're just, like, 
sometimes we have the tendency in our mindset as Christians that, oh man, just the greatest things are just for people who are like, you know, like people who are rich or maybe people who yeah. have like tattoos mm-hmm. or maybe like people who have like maybe a bigger platform in life or maybe mm-hmm. like and in a church, in a church environment, maybe Hillsong or yeah. Young and, whatever you call it. But especially we're all, we're all working in progress. And But I'm learning that there's a difference between relying on your own strength and mm-hmm. also relying on when you understand that purpose and that what you're called to do and that assurance that he has given you that he's going to be there for you till the end we hope we hear that many times all the time mm-hmm. but yeah. but with the moment you understand that and your identity activity will always follow like yeah. some people are always stuck on something mm-hmm. because they don't know who they are you know like it's if you the moment you understand who you are everything will just follow and and i think we all we all we all been we, we've all experienced this all the time that we're trying to find our identity and that and we especially a young i don't know who, who's listening to this right now you might be 16 or l- less than 20 and that and you're still trying to understand who you are in that sometimes mm-hmm. You don't even need to find there, or you don't need to try to figure out because it's real, it's all within your reach. And I learned that I learned that many times during throughout the whole throughout, throughout the whole thing in my life. Even the, the life of Moses. If you look at the life of Moses, it's like God, I cannot do greater things. Like look at me, I'm incapable. And then mm-hmm. and then God just says like, throw that stick, mm-hmm. and he took it back and became a snake, right? And he took yeah. it back. But yeah. little no that everything that he needed in order to deliver his people was in his hand. And that was the... What was that? The work? The, the staff. The, work. <laughs> the, the staff. staff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the staff. I'm learning that like, God has given us so much potential, so much gifts and talents, yeah, but... We just gotta reach out. Oh it. well. It's yeah. the same process. Like, God, what am I gonna do? I mean, can, I'm not competent enough. I can't even speak well. And then, yeah. what's in your hands? Little <laughs> does he know that stuff was everything that he needed to deliver the Israelites. Yeah. And same, yeah. same goes to us. Everything that we mm-hmm. need to move forward is in your hand. Your talents, mm-hmm. your family, the season that you're at. You know, the life experience that you've gone through and you gain the victory, that victory is going to fuel your faith every day. You know, because wow. like, you experience the goodness of God and it keeps you moving forward. And and I've learned that because there are times in my life where I've been a failure. There are times in my life where I felt like, man, this is the end of myself. Mm-hmm. I've fought my life. I did so much mess up in my life and it's never going to be changed. This is it. Like, I've, I'm... I'm shame of my wrongdoings you know like mm-hmm. people I've, I've lost so much trust with people this is mm-hmm. it but if I've been stuck on the same thing if I if I stayed on the same mindset then I'll never be able to experience because sometimes I learned that like you know we could be saying like oh yo God I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it like it's like if you look at I want I want to share the metaphor of like a dog mm-hmm. if a dog is 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 um, tied up in a cage for two years and you you open the cage the dog will always gonna go back in the same environment because they're so they're so um, used to the same environment they're so used that they're stuck in the same could be a month they're stuck in the same close proximity or close environment and same goes God has given us the freedom already God has restored us God has God has forgiven us and he has set us free but some of us yeah. were stuck in the same things, the same mindset, the same wrongdoings. And that's what mm-hmm. the enemy wants. God, the enemy will put us so much, God, the enemy will put us in a position where, where, where we felt, felt like that was, that was the only thing to maybe satisfy us, to give us mm-hmm. comfort. The, the things that is so familiar with us, you know? Yeah. The only thing we know. But... But God has set us free. And that's what I learned that like in order to be productive with your life and with your with your um with the God given talents that He has given you and just make the most out of your life is mm-hmm. God God can work mir- God can work amazing things in our life if we do although also the work. If you look at I just wanna yeah. share this. 
Um, if you look at the life of Israel, the Israelites, they were already when when Moses has delivered them through the, the hands of Pharaoh, and they were mm-hmm. on their way to the Promised Land, they saw that the, 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 the they were trapped in the Red Sea, right? Mm-hmm. And then they started complaining and things like that. It's like, yeah. oh, we could have there, this and that. Mm-hmm. And then Moses is like, oh God, what am I going to do? What am I going to say? And then he said, yeah. oh, just be still. God is going to fight for you, this and that. But if you look at the next verse, I actually want to verse to that because I really, I want to share this to you guys because it was also mm-hmm. such a, I'm not even in the Bible. How bad is that? <laughs> so, um, Exodus 14, actually. Exodus 14. And, and Moses said, Moses answered the people, do not be afraid, stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord who will bring you today. And the Egyptians, you see, the Egyptians, today you will see again and the Lord will fight for you and you you only need to be still. Take note of that. Moses mm. said, you only need to be still. Yeah. But then again, verse 15 said, the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. That's the complete mm. opposite of what Moses is saying. And sometimes we yeah. think like, like, you know, like in order to gain so much out of our, our life, it's just being still. But the Mm-mm. Bible says, move on. Mm. If they stayed on the That's same the place, word. they would never experience the breakthrough that God has called. They True. The yeah. If yeah. We're, we're gonna stay here, I'll let God, I'm gonna, you know, like when we when we go to church and that, and like we're still going back on the same thing. I'm just gonna be still here, Lord, and that. But God is not. God does not call us to be on the same place. We need mm-hmm. to. Move mm-hmm. forward, grow, yeah, yeah. yes, Mary. And we, even though we don't understand, it's still an act of obedience. God, I don't understand it, I'm still gonna go out. God, yeah, yeah. the same dead routine. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna shift, I'm gonna mm-hmm. shift, you know. And but, yeah, we have to change mm-hmm. the we have to confuse the enemy because the enemy knows our potential, so he yeah, put yeah. So much things out in our mind. Yeah, that's so true. Mm-hmm. Wow. No, like there, you know, there are things in our life that we don't know, but the enemy mm-hmm. knows. So he yeah. will do so much things. He will put us so much comforting things, even, even in even comforting friends that you think it was good for you, but mm-hmm. it's the time it's yeah, still bad. It's yeah, or he will put so much distraction of you just to make mm-hmm. he knows that when you start doing something, you yeah. do things in the kingdom. And I learned yeah. that I'm still learning, and. I just want to encourage everyone out there. We need to move mm. on. We can't stay mm. on the same place. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> use your <laughs> gift, Deba. <laughs> yeah, you gotta Talent. use your gift. Yeah. God-given gift. Yes. Okay. So, um, you know, oh. since when <laughs> 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 you're thirsty, now. That's okay. So, you know, we're now in like lockdown here in New Zealand and all around the world. Um, you know, people are experiencing, um, you know, anxiety and like depression and mm-hmm. all those kind of things. Or especially when people are, are like, you know, living by themselves or lonely. How, what would your encouragement be if, uh, who are people like experience that, experiencing that? I love that because... I learned that, you know, like sometimes when we're, I mean, we're all, we're, we're all brought up in a church environment and oh. there's that, there's that understanding or like, like we think that like when we start following God, like and when we, God called us into a promised land, everything's smooth and everything, yeah. like, everything's going to go well. Everything's, you know, like you won't be able to experience struggles and things like that. And when, when things aren't going well, then what you think was god's plan you start doubting like hang on this is probably not god's plan in my life because yeah. if it was god's plan then i probably wouldn't encounter trouble if it was mm-hmm. god's plan then i probably wouldn't experience like like a defeat and we're, mm-hmm. we're in a right now where there's a lot of uncertainty um there's a lot of like you know like you could be heartache maybe or maybe like um you, you experience loss you know maybe a loss of job mm-hmm. um loss of sense of purpose there's a, a lot of sense of are they lose I mean a, a sense of loss could be in, in a different form you know but but what I'm learning is God has never promised us comfort yeah. and sometimes when we say like uncertainty there's actually a danger with uncertain I mean yeah. there's a lot with, with uncertain things because um, 
Yeah, I mean, sorry, sorry, complete opposite. There's a danger when things are going well. Like when sometimes we think like when we when we follow God, things are going to be certain, things are going to be go well. But I'm learning mm-hmm. that if we had it all figured it out, like if there wasn't any missing things in our life, mm-hmm. then what's the reason for us to keep going? Mm-hmm. Have you ever thought about that? Like if I figured out everything, if I had the right wife, if I had the right career, if I had like a million dollar in my bank, if I had like 10 million followers, oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> If I had, if I had, you know, if I had, you know, like the best partner or the best car, if you had it, oh, the Bible says, like, what if you gain the whole world and you lose your own soul? We heard that. Yeah. If you had it all. The worst thing is we become complacent, mm-hmm. and some everything that we get too to comfortable. Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Everything that we need to keep going is the missing things in our life. I mean, I'd rather be missing something, and mm-hmm. that. In- to rely more on God rather than yeah. having it all and I'd be complacent I'd be like hang on everything's going what a good life we're living you know like <laughs> I, I, yeah. this is it. <laughs> I don't need to go on Zoom I mean mm-hmm. like this Zoom encourages me because I needed something in my life I needed to be encouraged and I'm mm-hmm. to you all right now that you've given me this opportunity it also inspires me you know mm-hmm. and that, that's what I learned that it's never been about the destination but yeah. it's, it's always about it's always in, it's always in the process it's mm-hmm. always things that enables us to keep going in our faith it's the fuel you know yeah. it's like it's like like ah oh, I needed to go keep I needed to keep going because you know there's something like you haven't actually worked out so it's kind of similar to faith we need to we need to keep going because not because that not because that we're trying to gain so much knowledge and that but mm-hmm. we need to because there's things in that I mean like even the Bible has, is um, defined us as like a sheep like going astray there are times yeah. when we go, you know, like there are times when we just like you know we forget about the word of God and that but God put that in the position of like maybe you maybe in a, you're in a position of bondage right now maybe in a mm-hmm. position of pressure. Maybe in a position mm. where you felt like you, you're feeling, you know, like you're going through trouble yeah. constantly in life, and that. But at, the greater the opposition, is also an opportunity for God's working miracle in your life. It's really Amen. how we how we perceive things. Well, you think it as a trouble, but God sees it as an invitation for Him to work in your life. Yeah. Like, oh God, what am I gonna do now? Like I don't have this and that, but yeah. God, but it's also an opportunity for you to grow. What what if everything that you need it could be, could come up in the form of, of maybe character development, mm-hmm. or maybe in the form of like building your faith, you know? Because mm, yeah. God prepared you something greater, but He's also trying to prepare you. Like you know, it's like a seed. Like the, our life is like mm. a seed. Like now we seed. Together, we let's go seed now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Our life is like a seed, you know, like, yeah. I mean, we hear that the Bible all the time, like, you know, mm-hmm. faith is like a seed. Yeah, the seed. Like, like, if you look at the life, if you look at the seed, you don't see the potential. No. You see it as like, what? It's, it's, it's pointless. Like, what would I go? <laughs> look at that. It's tiny. It's, yeah. it's, it takes time. Yeah. It's, yeah. I want to be able to compare this. If you look, if you compare a seed and uh, maybe a pearl. A pearl, because if you look at a pearl, it's it's already complete. Mm-hmm. You can wear them, and people's like, "Yo, that's expensive." Yeah, you can, no, it's an immediate value. You can mm-hmm. sell them, and you have five grand. And wow. sometimes like, everyone likes something that's immediate. They want something mm-hmm. to. Um, they want they want immediate girlfriend where they can show it on social media. They want <laughs> wow, immediate boyfriend, um, job. You know, yeah. or you know, maybe um, they even like at, at at the gym. They want immediate abs. <laughs> say, <laughs> yeah, immediate when you, you know, like everything is so immediate. Mm-hmm. If you look, if you look at the seed, it takes time, mm-hmm. but the process takes time, but we don't see it yet. But if you see the full effect of it, you might even see a greater harvest. Mm-hmm. That's the same thing with life, you know. What if your seed right now could be just a form of just, just 
I think high school is not, even though you haven't seen it yet. Kind of yeah. Still, you know, but what if your form of seeds right now is just big region? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't understand what you're doing, but I'm still going to show up. God, mm-hmm. I'm still... I'm still depressing right now, but what if your your form of seed right now is just is just encouraging yourself and just speaking life to yourself? Mm-hmm. You know, there's we we there's a lot of seed and God has planted a seed in us, but it has for, to, for us. It, the things we focus now determines how it grows. If we constantly mm-hmm. focus on the wrong things, it will never grow. You know, if mm-hmm. we focus on the, if we focus on depression. If we focus on the things that are, yeah, are, are miss, you know, like the conflict, the trouble, then mm-hmm. you'll never be able to encourage. And then when you when you ask her the question, like, how do you inspire yourself? How do you encourage yourself? Yeah. And, and sometimes we we like to wait for the pastor to inspire us, encourage us, and that. But our biggest encourager, apart from the Bible, and that is ourselves. Sometimes it's just a matter mm-hmm. of like, sometimes wake up, even though you're still in, you know, even though, even though you haven't, you know, you don't feel well. But the joy of the Lord is my strength. Even mm-hmm. though, like, like you're feeling sick, but, mm-hmm. you know, like by your stripes I am healed. Because that's how faith works. Yes, Amen. And the Bible says that whatever we confess, this, you know, that what we confess, we possess it. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and and there's this life, you know, like there's there's power in our tongues, in our in our lips. And the more we confess on mm-hmm. our self, the more it manifests. But if you have that wrong mindset all the time, and it's just it's not the mindset of the world, but it's just a renewal of our mind every day. That's what's yeah. I'm really bad with Bible, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the Bible says that like do not be transformed in the pattern of this world, but in the Mm-mm. renewal of your mind. God is reminding us to this. Mm-mm. Yeah. Amen. And yeah. Wow. Praise God. Grabe. Wow. So kuya, to wrap it up, um, um, can we have some encouragements to everyone? Alam namin na marami na kami na pakinggan. Yeah, you. here. Just any to wrap words. it up. Ano? Yeah, any yeah. Any last words? Any, any last words? <laughs> All I could say is, um, even though you don't feel it yet, even though you haven't experienced God's goodness, even though it doesn't seem right. Um, like, I always remind myself, because I feel like sometimes, I feel like down sometimes too. I feel like, man, I'm tired of this. I feel like giving up, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, like, I'd rather just like downplay myself and just like, you know, just do whatever everyone else is doing because it's immediate. And it's mm-hmm. fun. It's it's comforting. And, you know, it's, it's I feel like I'm missing out on that. But I also also remind myself that I'd rather feel stuck right now and see God's will fulfilled in my life rather mm-hmm. than giving up and you'll never be able to experience what God's called you to do. Because in yeah. that, it's the journey of life. And mm-hmm. there are things one day you're gonna, in the next five years, you're going to start realizing, Shucks, man, I should have done this. Mm-hmm. I mean, God could, I could have been, you know, like we don't know our potential, but it's in the middle. It's our response now. It's never been, it's, the troubles that we go through right now is never does not determine the outcome, but yes. that's our respond in the trouble that determines how we move forward. I like Amen. That. Wow. It's never you know like it's it's, it's how we respond every day, and yes. we really feel like you don't feel well. You know like it's you just had enough with this whole thing, mm. so you just, you just get over. We're so familiar with it and that, but don't give up. It's like the life of of the, the guy who. Wrestled against God. What's his name? Um, Jacob. Um, Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, right? Uh, yeah, Jacob. Jacob, right? He, he yeah. wrestled against. That's right. He's Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. He wrestled against God until he ble- until he, he gets his blessing. And sometimes in our life, we need to just God. Yeah. We need to do the same thing. We need to. We need to. We need to do something. We need to seek God. We need to we need to fulfill what I mean, we seek God, yeah. Mm-hmm. And and um and that I'm learning that like God can protect you, God can mm-hmm. provide for you, God can yeah. make sure that you're you you know like you're well fed, you've got the right people and but there's only one thing he cannot do in our life, and that is to possess what is mm-hmm. really yours. 
mm-hmm. you know you can do it. it's like the life like the life of, of, of Moses you know like he was God told him like go oh, I'll go show your people the the promised land in Canaan by the time they got there they're like hang on God there's like big giants there what, what are you gonna do you know mm-hmm. like that is they still haven't that that's a different story but I'm not gonna go into that but God could have given them God could have given them like okay like the the, the best plan of their life like yo this is what's gonna happen and and Canaan or this is what's gonna happen in the promised land and that but God didn't do it for them they were giving them a choice Mm-mm. but it's their um, it's their response to it whether they're gonna possess it or not and same goes to us every day right now mm-hmm. what are the things that we go through every day that we need to be more active with God what are the mm-hmm. things God is talking to you right now mm-hmm. that you know that you're still trying to you're trying to um um, ignore and that maybe mm-hmm. those, those are God that you need in order to move forward yeah I don't know what it is I have battles in my life too that that I needed to think but the small details is the things that that God can work miracles in my life mm-hmm. yeah. stuck with this right now well done we made it in the right place we're all stuck mm-hmm. but we'll see the goodness of God be fulfilled yeah. in our life Yes, amen, amen. amen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? That, mm-hmm. but it's a good, good place to get stuck, right? Yeah. This is yeah. life. Yeah. It's a good mm-hmm. place to be here. It feels like we feel stuck, but we're we're getting there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So while we're stuck, we still need to hold our anchor oh, on the Lord. Lord. Wow, yeah. that's just so that <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Thank you so much, Kreja, for, Thank you, for wow, a wonderful, wonderful experience with you, a conversation with you. We are so blessed to have you yes. this day. And um wag mo nang aalis because meron tayong mapapakinggan na special number from YFAP Sydney na pinag-aaral. Actually, this is a original song from oh, them. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um, and here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm Bonnie. This is Casey, Thea, Francis, Ken, Josh, and Rob. And we are Toy Pop Sydney. And today we will be presenting two original songs made by our lovely young adults. And we hope that you will be blessed.
I miss you guys. Shout out to you guys. Glory to God for your gifts and talents. But yeah, yeah. so I think Jo. So yeah, Kuya Jeff, meron ka bang gustong batiin your family here in the Philippines since you're there in New Zealand, your family there as well in New Zealand and in other parts of the world. <laughs> well, message, big shout out to everyone. First and foremost, CNCI. Um, yeah. You guys are family and I hope you guys are keeping safe, stay active and don't forget to smile. Keep smiling and stay in the love of God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Amen. So, Amen. um before before tayo mag-end kuya, nakikita mo ba yung ano, yung mga gen- yung ginagawa namin sa mga guests? Like the gising na, kilos na. 
I'll be honest with you, I haven't actually been updated, but I'd be so willing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now you have to. <laughs> Now you have to do it. <laughs> so it's just like yeah. this. Um, gising na, kilos na. Kilos na. Yeah, show, show, show it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get it. Okay. Okay. One. Yeah, you have to do it, ah. Uh. Gising na, na, kilos na. na. Okay. Kilos Wait, gising na. na, kilos na. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In three, two, one. Gising na, kilos na. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's wow. cool. Wow. Okay. Now you have okay. to teach that um that thing to the New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> New Zealand no. people. Gising na, kilos na, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much, Kuya. And yeah, guys. Um, I hope na we pray na marami tayong natutunan this day sa mga napakinggan natin about um uh, how to deal with everything on what's happening in our life and also seeking God, especially in our life. Amen. So don't forget to. Like our page, follow it, and share the post. And we also have YouTube channel, and you can wow. also subscribe to it at Wipeup. Yeah, yun ang yun ang name wow. natin sa YouTube channel. So yeah, let's like grow. That. Be part of let's our go. family. Yeah, be part yes. of our growing family, de ba? It's more yes. fun to serve the Lord, de ba? Amen. I yes. love that. Amen. So yeah, thank you so much again, Kuya Jeff. We miss you thank so you, much. Kuya. And We hope to see you really soon after this pandemic. Yeah, magsama-sama tayong lahat. Yeah. Yes. Magsama-sama tayong lahat ng mga kabataan to praise and worship the Lord and give thanks to Him na even though delayed yung mga mga plans natin in our life, ano, um, still God is working and my purpose si Lord and talagang hinahanda niya yung puso ng bawat isa. That's why we do this Why Papuri live every Sunday and meron din pong mga exhortations the whole week. Amen. So it's a preparation for every one of us. Na kapag nagsama-sama tayo, hindi lang 1,000 yung bilang natin, kundi more than that, 1 million. <laughs> wow, 10 million. Yeah. <laughs> 10 million. <laughs> so yeah. So thank you so much again, Krejev. God bless you and you regards you. on your family. Bye guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Bye.